Mr. President, I deliver this statement on behalf of Conectas Human Rights and Article 19 Brazil and South America. This information is challenging Brazil's democracy, its electoral system, and our upcoming general elections. The propagation of false or misleading information affects the collective dimension of freedom of expression based on the expectation that society can, precisely, be well informed and be able to fully exercise its right to political and social participation. This practice has globally recognized impacts as seen in the COVID-19 pandemic in which disinformation continues to influence the numbers of deaths and of people vaccinated. In, a, in electoral context, disinformation has the even greater potential to erode the democratic order. Moving the electorate away from an objective view of the facts compromises the normality of the elections, contaminating the information ecosystem with untruths that foment intolerance, racism and violence, especially against historically discriminated populations such as women, black, LGBTI and indigenous people in addition to increasing polarization and inducing a weakening of confidence in the electoral process. Among the different waves of misleading information that we see in Brazil is the questioning of the integrity of the Brazilian electoral system, including by public authorities and President Jair Bolsonaro himself. To question the electoral system is to attempt against its functioning and against the democratic state, in addition to dangerously, dangerously encouraging actions against institutions. According to a survey by the journalistic platform Aos Fatos, from his inauguration until June 24, 2022, Jair Bolsonaro made 5,588 false or distorted statements during his 1,270 days as president. Faced with this worrying context, we call on the Brazilian state in, the, in its different powers, as well as the digital platforms themselves, to promote the fight against disinformation, guaranteeing an informed, diverse and peaceful public debate.